<laughs> Today you are surrounded by your friends and family, all whom have gathered to witness your marriage and to share in the joy of this occasion. It should be one of the most memorable and happiest days of your lives. You stand before us today as two mature and thoughtful people who wish to express their emotions within the framework of a meaningful life. For your self-reliance, courage, and love, you deserve respect. And it is these attributes which make this a serious but not solemn occasion. Marriage is that order of creation given by God in love which binds one man and one woman in a lifelong union with the most intimate fellowship of body and life. This one flesh relationship were properly based on fidelity and love. It serves as witness to God's grace and leads husband and wife into service one unto the other. Honor these vows which you are about to make. Your lives will be full of joy. The home in which you are establishing together will abide in peace. There are no other vows more tender or meaningful than those you are about to assume. We wish that at the end of your lives you will be able to say these two things to each other. Because you have loved me, you have given me faith in myself. Because I've seen the good in you, and I've received the faith in humanity. Nick and Libby, you want to turn and face each other, please? Guess what, Nick? You get to go first. Repeat <laughs> after me. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. Promise you, Libby. Promise you, Libby. That from this day forward, that from this day forward, you will be my wife. You will be my wife. I will stand with you. I will stand with you in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in joy and in sorrow. And I pledge to you, and I pledge to you, my respect and my love, my respect and my love. Very nice. Libby, repeat yeah, after me, please. I, Libby. I, Libby. Promise you, Nick. Promise you, Nick. That from this day forward, from this day forward, you will be my husband. I will stand with you. I will stand with you. Sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. Joy and in sorrow. Joy and in sorrow. And I pledge to you. And I pledge to you. My respect and my love. My respect and my love. What pledge do you offer in token of these vows? Do you know wedding rings? As you place your rings today, remember that the wedding ring is an unbroken circle representing unending love. And Nick, if you place the ring on Libby's finger first, please. And hold it there. And repeat after me. <laughs> this ring I give you. This ring I give you. As a token. As a token. Of my faithfulness and love. Of my faithfulness and love. And as a pledge. And as a pledge. To honor you. To honor you. With my whole being. With my whole being. And to share with you. And to share with you. All that I have to give. All that I have. <laughs> <laughs> place the ring all the way on her finger. And Libby, if you place the ring on the next finger, please. Hold it there. Repeat after me. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. As a token. As a token. Of my faithfulness and love. My faithfulness and love. And as a pledge. And as a pledge. To honor you. To honor you. With my whole being. Share with you. To share with you. All that I have to give. All that I have to give. <laughs> so you can change much, maybe. <laughs> if we could bow our heads in a closing prayer, please. Gracious Father, you have kindled in these hearts the fire of divine love. Keep it always aflame upon the altar of their souls and make the inward aspirations of their hearts the outward reality of their home. We pray that you'll make the home a place of light and truth, a place of beauty, a place of joy and happiness all the days of their lives. Amen. Amen. And now for as much as Nick and Libby have consented together in wedlock, you shared your love, faith, and loyalty to each other, and have also shared the giving and receiving of rings by the authority vested in me by the state of Florida. I'd like to pronounce you husband and wife. And seal it with a kiss. <laughs> <laughs>